American homes and most computers filled entire rooms on that day. From Cape Canaveral, Florida, an Atlas Centaur rocket thundered into the sky, carrying what would soon become the most distant human-made object in history. Voyager 1 was launched not in pursuit of glory or conquest, but in the spirit of discovery. It was a mission born of curiosity, a testament to the same human urge that once pushed sailing ships across uncharted oceans in search of the unknown. This spacecraft, barely the size of a compact car and carrying technology that would eventually become vastly outdated, embarked on a journey unlike any other. Its purpose was ambitious, yet straightforward, to explore Jupiter and Saturn, along with their complex systems of moons and rings. It was to provide humanity with its first close-up views of these distant gas giants, revealing mysteries that had eluded our telescopes for centuries. No one at the time could have predicted that this small probe would go on to defy expectations, breaking free from its original mission to become humanity's lone traveler in the cosmic dark, whispering back secrets from beyond the known frontier. Alongside its twin, Voyager 2, which had been launched just weeks earlier, Voyager 1 embarked on what scientists dubbed the Grand Tour of the Outer Planets. This wasn't a typical mission, it took advantage of a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years. This configuration allowed NASA to use a clever method called gravitational assists, essentially turning the solar system into a cosmic pinball machine. With each planetary flyby, Voyager was flung farther and faster into deep space, its trajectory a work of celestial choreography executed with unmatched precision. It was a daring and elegant plan, one that demonstrated human ingenuity at its finest. Initially, Voyager 1's mission was expected to last just five years. Its systems were engineered to survive long enough to complete flybys of Jupiter and Saturn by the early 1980s. But what it delivered during this short window was nothing short of breathtaking. The spacecraft sent back dazzling images of Jupiter's great red spot, an enormous storm larger than Earth itself, along with lightning storms roiling through the gas giant's thick atmosphere. It revealed Saturn's ethereal rings in intricate detail, along with alien moons that defied expectations. These moons, such as Enceladus and Titan, were worlds unto themselves, featuring icy volcanoes and hints of subsurface oceans. For the first time in human history, people could look at these celestial bodies not as blurry points through a telescope, but as dynamic, living places, worlds with geology, weather systems, and perhaps even the fundamental ingredients for life. Yet something extraordinary happened after those scheduled encounters. Voyager 1 did not stop. With its trajectory set and its momentum unrelenting, it continued on, sailing past Saturn and into the unknown. Year after year, it kept flying. Decade after decade, it continued working. By the 1990s, it had become an aging marvel, a relic of a bygone era still carrying out a noble mission. By the 2000s, it was something even more remarkable, a scientific time capsule still returning valuable data. Then, in August of 2012, Voyager 1 made history once again. It crossed the heliopause, the outer boundary where the solar wind, the continuous stream of charged particles from our sun, meets the pressure of the interstellar medium. This moment marked more than a technical milestone. It signified the first time any human creation had entered true interstellar space. Voyager 1 had transformed from a mere explorer into a pioneer in the truest sense of the word. Now it moved silently through a sea of stars, its instruments still functional, its antenna still pointed faithfully back toward Earth. From over 14 billion miles away, a distance so vast it takes light more than 20 hours to travel, it continued to transmit data, faint signals that carried knowledge from realms we could hardly imagine. But perhaps the most astonishing chapter of Voyager's story is the one that is now beginning to unfold. Recently, the probe began sending back signals, strange data that has perplexed scientists and sparked a global scientific investigation. These were not random transmissions or the usual cosmic static. They were structured signals, rhythmic pulses and patterns that defied explanation. They didn't align with the cosmic background noise, radiation spikes, or any known natural phenomena. These signals exhibited modulations, periodicities, and frequencies that suggested structure, organization, not the chaotic randomness of space. This was not just background noise. It was something different. Something organized. Renowned physicist Dr. Michio Koku, who has long admired the Voyager missions, once compared them to messages in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. But even he was surprised by these recent anomalies. According to Koku, the nature of these signals is unlike anything previously detected, by Voyager or by any other spacecraft in history. They do not conform to the established models of interstellar plasma behavior. Nor are they easily dismissed as instrumentation errors or data glitches. 
Naturally, the scientific community is cautious. Theories abound, and many are grounded in known science. Some experts suggest that these anomalies may be caused by turbulent pockets of space dust or the influence of exotic magnetic fields that Voyager 1 is currently passing through. Others propose that the signals could be evidence of previously unknown interactions with dark matter, the elusive and invisible substance that is thought to make up more than a quarter of the known universe. And then, of course, there are the more speculative theories, those that border on science fiction but are increasingly being discussed with sober minds. Could Voyager be intercepting data relays or navigational signals used by an advanced civilization? Is it possible that the probe has passed through some kind of galactic highway, a region of space used by intelligent life for communication or transit? No one is claiming direct proof of alien life. Not yet. But the very fact that such ideas are now being considered seriously represents a seismic shift in the scientific community. The mere possibility, once taboo and relegated to the realm of pseudoscience, is now being cautiously explored by credentialed experts. And why not? Voyager 1 is now where no machine has gone before. Who is to say what it might encounter in the vast silence beyond the stars? Some physicists have gone further, proposing ideas that challenge the very fabric of our understanding. Perhaps Voyager's anomalies are indirect evidence of higher dimensions or gravitational leaks, phenomena rooted in the speculative realms of string theory and quantum gravity. Could this aging spacecraft, built with 1970s electronics and gold-plated copper wiring, be brushing against the edge of deeper truths? Could it be our accidental emissary to realities that hint our universe is more layered, more mysterious, than we ever imagined? Meanwhile, Voyager 1 continues its lonely work. Its power source, a radioisotope thermoelectric generator fueled by decaying plutonium-238, still produces just enough electricity to keep its core instruments running. By the mid-2030s, this power will dwindle to silence. But until then, Voyager listens. It measures plasma densities. It records magnetic field shifts. It hears the subtle vibrations of interstellar plasma through its plasma wave system, capturing sounds that have been described as haunting, beautiful, and utterly alien. These are the vibrations of the void, a kind of ghostly music that suggests even the silence of space is filled with rhythm. Recently, these strange audio recordings have taken on new significance. Researchers discovered that some of these audio patterns contain periodic structures, rhythms that resemble digital information more than mere random noise. It is as if something out there is speaking, not in language, but in frequency and form. Even the heliopause itself, once considered a static boundary, is now understood in new terms. We now know that it pulses and shifts, influenced by solar cycles and galactic conditions. It behaves almost like a living membrane, flexing and responding to solar storms and distant cosmic forces. The more we listen, the more we learn that space is not empty. It is alive, with energy, with patterns, and perhaps with communication. NASA, as always, is careful not to leap to conclusions. In typical fashion, the agency has brought together top minds from across the globe, astrophysicists, mathematicians, data analysts, and engineers, to examine the signals. Known sources of interference are being methodically ruled out. And as each explanation is discarded, what remains is not certainty, but a powerful invitation, to ask questions we never dared to voice before. Still, Voyager carries more than instruments and sensors. Onboard is the famous golden record a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc containing the sounds and images of Earth. Curated by Carl Sagan and his team, it includes greetings in 55 languages, music ranging from Mozart to Louis Armstrong, and images of human life, cities, nature, and animals. It is not merely a repository of information. It is a message of goodwill. Our attempt to say, across the stars, we are here. We wish to know you. Voyager, above all else, is a symbol. It reminds us of what we are capable of, not when we act out of fear, but when we are motivated by hope, curiosity, and wonder. It is a time capsule, yes, a technological relic, certainly, but also a philosophical mirror. It reflects back to us the essence of who we are, explorers, not settlers, dreamers, not doubters. In the decades to come, new missions will rise on Voyager's legacy. NASA's proposed interstellar probe aims to travel ten times farther, armed with tools far more sophisticated, to explore the questions Voyager has raised, but cannot answer. Yet Voyager 1 will always be first. It will always be the pioneer. Whether it ends up identifying dark matter, intercepting an alien signal, 
or simply teaching us how the universe behaves beyond the reach of our sun, its place in history is assured. As Dr. Koku so eloquently put it, Voyager is more than a spacecraft. It is a mirror held up not only to the cosmos, but to ourselves. It reveals not only what is out there, but who we are in here. A curious, restless, determined species, reaching into the dark, asking questions not merely of science, but of meaning. One day, its voice will go silent. Its battery will fail. The last signal will fade into the void. But its journey will continue. Voyager 1 will drift for eons, circling the galaxy, bearing the echo of our civilization on a disk of gold. And even if no one ever finds it, even if it sails alone forever, its mission will have been worth it. For it proved something profound, that the universe is not only wider than we imagined, but far more wondrous, more alive, and filled with more possibility than we ever dared to dream. And perhaps, somewhere in the dark, something is listening. It's hard to comprehend the vastness of space until you consider the journey of a machine like Voyager 1. Every mile it travels, every signal it sends, stretches the boundaries of human understanding. When it launched in 1977, the world was very different. American homes and most computers filled entire rooms. On that day from Cape Canaveral, Florida, an Atlas Centaur rocket thundered into the sky carrying what would become the most distant human-made object in history. Voyager 1 was launched not in pursuit of glory or conquest, but in the spirit of discovery, a testament to the same curiosity that once pushed sailing ships across uncharted oceans. Its original assignment was ambitious but straightforward, to explore Jupiter and Saturn and their complex systems of moons and rings, providing humanity with its first close-up views of these distant gas giants. It was, at the time, a daring step into the cosmic unknown. No one then could have predicted that this small probe, no bigger than a compact car and armed with technology now vastly outdated, would become humanity's lone traveler in the cosmic dark, whispering back secrets from beyond the known frontier. Yet it did. It surpassed every expectation, every projected timeline, every technical limit conceived by the scientists who built it. Alongside its twin, Voyager 2, launched just weeks earlier, the spacecraft embarked on what scientists dubbed the Grand Tour of the Outer Planets. A rare planetary alignment occurring only once every 176 years allowed NASA to sling Voyager from one planet to the next using gravitational assists, a sort of cosmic pinball machine that flung the probe farther and faster with each planetary pass. It was a daring and elegant plan, a demonstration of human engineering and celestial choreography at its finest. The alignment was a gift from the universe, and we seized it with every ounce of ingenuity we could muster. Initially, Voyager 1's mission was expected to last just five years. Its systems were designed to survive long enough to complete flybys of Jupiter and Saturn by the early 1980s. And what it delivered during that brief initial chapter was nothing short of breathtaking. The probe sent back dazzling images of Jupiter's great red spot, massive lightning storms larger than Earth, Saturn's ethereal rings, and alien moons with volcanoes of ice and subsurface oceans. For the first time, people could gaze at other worlds not as blurry points in a telescope, but as real, dynamic places worlds with geology, weather, and perhaps even the building blocks of life. Each new image and measurement deepened our understanding and intensified our wonder. But something extraordinary happened after those scheduled encounters. Voyager 1 didn't stop. With its course now fixed and momentum carrying it beyond Saturn, it entered the unknown, heading away from the sun and toward the edge of the solar system. Year after year, it kept flying. Decade after decade, it kept working. By the 1990s, it had become an aging marvel. By the 2000s, it was a scientific relic, still returning valuable data from the cold depths of space. And then, in August of 2012, something historic occurred. Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the outer boundary where the solar wind, the constant stream of particles from our sun, meets the pressure of the interstellar medium. This crossing was more than a technical milestone. It was the first time any human creation had entered true interstellar space, a realm beyond the influence of our solar system. Voyager had become not just an explorer, but a pioneer in the truest sense. It now moved through a silent sea of stars, its instruments still operational, its antenna still locked on a distant Earth, transmitting whispers from over 14 billion miles away. A distance so vast that it takes light more than 20 hours to travel from Voyager back to us. Yet perhaps the most astonishing chapter of Voyager's story is the one now unfolding. Recently, it began sending back signals, data that has perplexed scientists and sparked a global scientific investigation. Structured signals. Rhythmic pulses. 
patterns that don't align with cosmic background noise, radiation spikes, or any known natural phenomena. They exhibit modulations, 